So I suggest we start at the beginning. And we shall work our way on to the end. Right. Oh, that's surprisingly sticky. Let's use a bit of, I wasn't going to use any medium, any liquid, but I think I will just on that white there because it's, it's an old, old uh, tube. It's, it's partially dried. Right, the pigment in that is just beautiful, it's really strong. And even with liquid, it's covering that really well. Let's put a bit in there. It's a really pure blue, that is. Lovely, 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 lovely. And that as well, I mean, that is it's really quite, quite strong. I mean, the only reason I don't use these, as I've said probably a million times, normally is because of the drying time. There's uh, usually people waiting for pictures and it's a case of having to get stuff out there as quickly as you can. Um, and uh, if I used used this paint, it would take a little bit longer to get it varnished and get it out. And also, you do sometimes need to have a bit of a dry a dry layer to work on, especially if you want to do glazing. So, but it certainly is a superior paint. There's no doubt about that. You know, I'm not being that careful really uh, about where I'm putting the colours at the moment. But uh, we're just gonna, you know, not don't try and do too much too soon. Let's just, you know, get get that oil on there, and then we can we can mess around with it afterwards. It doesn't need to look it doesn't need to look perfect straight away. Let's just build up to where we want to be with it. There's quite a lot of acrylic still showing and I really want to cover all of that. I don't want any of that acrylic showing. I want to Make sure that it's got a nice coat of oil over the top. Doesn't need to look exactly the same as that photograph. So I don't want to go too overboard. And I want a fair amount of that nice blue shining through at the top here. But I would say we're pretty much the right path here. It's looking good. Looking good my friend, looking good. Talking rubbish my friend, talking rubbish. Okay, 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 okay. 
few more highlights in this area here and then we'll go with another blend, a little mini blend and then um, we'll introduce some of the blues This is so much easier doing this with uh, this artist's oil colour than it is with the Griffin. Not that it's, you know, super difficult with the Griffin, but it does dry a little bit too quickly. So I wouldn't be probably, I'd, I'd struggle to be blending now if I was using the, the Griffin, the Alkyd based paint. It certainly has its benefits, but I mean, look, even here I'm able to continue just sort of blending in, and it's lovely and it's, it's lovely and uh, blendable, shall we say? Yeah. Right, I'm going to fill in these gaps here with the blue now. So just darken it a little bit as we move up the top of the picture here. Just trying to fit in all these little bits so that we can get a really nice blend in there. And I am going to introduce just a little bit more, sort of just hints of this sky coming in just into this area. What you don't want is for it to look too solid. Another blend. Okay. If that's not enough, which is probably not quite enough of a blend, I'll go over it with a smaller brush and I'll just blend around each each blue patch. Get it nice and soft, although, you know, how soft does it really need to be? That's what we're looking at. Okay, let's move over to this area here. Now, there's a, obviously you can see this darker area here, but there's quite a bright area beside it. So let's, let's put that in first. Um, let's have a look. It's not quite that blue, it's even got a touch of brown just to warm it up.
looking fairly rough as it is but once we give it a bit of a blend I might break that up actually that dark area there put in a bit more just a little bit more light running through it it doesn't look I know it's pretty much like that in the photograph but it just doesn't somehow it doesn't quite work for me so let's have a look Let's have a look. That's a bit better already. I think what I might do is just pull out, make that a little bit more obvious that it's a darker cloud sort of over the top bring a little bit of it in like that maybe some darker areas just sort of underneath okay wipe the paint off and then just give it a what I would call a scumble Right, I'm sort of fairly pleased with that. I'm going to give those brushes a clean now. I'm going to get the rest of it done. I may well come back to the sky, um, but I'm fairly happy with that. I like the fact that it's a little bit softer than the photograph, um, and I probably won't need to do anything else to it. Mm -hmm. 